Can I roll like for a nat twenty and then be alive? Uh, uh sure. Go for it. Yeah, roll. This is to the corn god. <laughs> I know I left for a while, but. Nat twenty. <laughs> I'm going to take a break from this combat to narrate what happened. I've never seen something That's more insane. What the fuck? <laughs> hey, it's a god thing. <laughs> Speaking of god things, you are bleeding out on the balustrade Have up been above. For a while. Have been for a while. Mm. Uh, Kristen. You appear at the corny gates. The corny gates. <laughs> the corny ass gates. Uh, you see that the gates open before you as you stay here on the verge of death. You walk into the heavenly heights. Soul wanted to see you. Oh, cool. Mm. Let's see, is he in a, like a beer pong room or is he like fucking... No, not Helio. He's in the beer pong room. Yeah, yeah, I just the figured Soul was kind of like similar. Um, he's in his office. He hasn't ha had anyone in in a while. The angels are all starting to get worried. He's been very secretive since, you know, the thing happened with you coming here. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, yeah, I'll go, I'll go see him. You walk... What's Kristen feeling as she's walking through the heavenly heights? Fucking over it. How is any of this real? This is... A, how did I end up here again? I did a lot more research. Um, you walk up, you see a bunch of angels look and they say, oh, you have leave to enter this place. Um, Soul has not seen fit to allow us entry in some time. He wishes to speak to a mortal only. Enter, but please be kind to him. He is our creator. Um, yeah, yeah, sorry. I've kind of got a chip on my shoulder lately, but yeah, of course. You enter the room, you close the door behind you, you look over, and the first thing you notice is a pair of feet with sandals uh, sticking out from behind a desk. And you turn your head to look, and you see a long, like, bearded, white-robed god with sun unconscious on the ground. And you see standing on the desk with no pants and just boxers and a shirt with, like, a crazy tie is Arthur Eggfort. Who goes, ah, Kristen, thank goodness you're here just in time. Did you kill God? No, no, I think he's just unconscious. I don't know if you can kill a God. The only way you can kill a God is to kill all of their followers in the prime material plane. Ah, yes, great <sighs> magic's at work here. What is going on? Why are you dressed like a, a weird stripper? What? Why are you? It's too hot in here. He's the sun. I had to take my pants off. I was sweating. Why, why did I, you start with your pants? It's crazy. I, I shed heat through my legs. Mostly. Okay, okay, yeah. All right, cool. All right. Oh, my darling girl, you're here. Did it all work? You know, everything worked out. I was, then my mind, they were poisoning it. My body was a prison, so I had to kill myself to regain my intellect. And now I've made the god of the sun unconscious and I've been running heaven behind their back. No one knows I'm in here. The angels all think that their god is still around. I've been, it's been quite some time, but you okay, understand yeah, that. See, that's, that's the moment that I remember. Okay, there are antipsychotic drugs that are so good. It's like you don't even realize when you're going into an episode. It just it smooths your whole life out. My darling and, girl, uh, uh, recreation is the highest form of self-medication, and I have realized long ago that the heart and soul of magic is having a good time. <laughs> so you're a god now? Barely, but there's business. Golden Horde is Calvaxis. I know, we know that. He just killed me. Oh no! Yeah. We have not much time. Listen, all right. I am going to clean up around here a little bit more. I've been shitting in the corner for a long time. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I've been holed up in here for quite some, you know, a while. So, um, what you need to do is this. There's a door past here. It is a door to the void. You appear back at the staircase. Yep. Uh, Arthur Eggfort says, how did it go in there? It was, uh, interesting. I, uh... And now I have like a really enthusiastic God that I <laughs> praise. He's kind of like the person you invite to the party and then like 10 minutes in you're like, oh, this is gonna take a lot of mental energy. <laughs> no, you've created a new deity and already you're fed up with it. Right? <laughs> I would say that's part of the course. Now, I'm gonna kick this door down and shoot all these angels in the head. <laughs> we're gonna run, we're gonna run for the exit. No, right? oh, what? <laughs> this is you popping in my backpack again. All right, what's that? You, when you hopped in my backpack, you just went, shh. Oh, Ooh, 
Very clever. He crawls into your backpack. No, 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 uh, I didn't. Uh, he says, all right, get out of here. If you stop walking, I'm going to jump out and start shooting. Okay. I just keep walking. Um, you walk to the gates. You get there. You see that uh, the guardian angel at the gate says, I'm sorry, I don't think you are able to. You see Arthur reaches out and goes, <laughs> and just in the shoulder, and he says, run! Um, <laughs> sorry, it's just a wound, just an injury. Um, uh, what do you do? I sprint. I sprint <laughs> out of there. You sprint, leap, 